Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be making cinnamon bun. I preheat my oven onto I think 325 or something. And you can put it on any percentage of the oven thing you want. It depends on what kind of oven you have. Then I took a pan that about this big and I put seven cinnamon buns. I know I have a recipe for homemade cinnamon bun, but unless you want me to do that instead of make the one that already has the dough, you have to comment, like, and follow. See more cooking content. I see you guys love my cooking content. If you're wondering why I'm wearing this, something like professional people wear, I barely wear this stuff. I wear more comfortable stuff. And it's because I got an award for my, my project for the science fair. It was how to crystallize an egg. If you want me to show you how the egg, the crystallized egg look, wait till the end of the video. I may or may not have a part two. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. You're going to need a blender. I mean, kind of blender. A mixer. The same mixer I had in my cupcake video. If you guys went back and look, you should go look at that though. I told you guys to comment. I think if I if I was if you wanted me to make vanilla cupcakes, strawberry cupcakes. I'm not a fan of strawberry cupcakes. And I don't know if you heard it or not. Well, the oven went off. I was right. Here's the key. How it looks. It's like this. I'm going to get cream cheese. Cream cheese. My favorite is Philadelphia cream cheese. That's one of the best cream cheese. I'm not saying it's the best in the entire world, but it's the best cream cheese I've had recently. Okay. Now I'm going to push my cinnamon bun into the oven for 14 minutes. Baking. I put them in. Now, the whisker. Let's do some whiskey business. Also, when you use this, you could use some, when my homemade is, my homemade one is kind of, not condensed milk, um, Philadelphia cream cheese, and 
sugar. Huh. And sh sugar powder. I think it's real sugar powder. Pow no, powder sugar. With milk. And when I say milk, I mean milk. I have a lactase milk. It's like really good milk. It's for people who have like stomach aches. If they drink too much of the other kinds of milk, I have Then I got some powdered sugar and just add my cream cheese. Cream cheese. Cream cheese. Smells nice. That's a really giant clump of cream cheese. That giant clump of cheese is just all cream cheese. It's all cream cheese. I also make taffy grapes, smoothies, fruit salads, and more. Now I add some milk. milk. You add more milk if you like want it to be more liquidy. I like mine's a little thick and a little liquidy. Wait, why was I pouring this? It's not liquid. And then you add your powdered sugar too, and you can add more powdered sugar if it's not if it's not thick enough. Wait, I should make I should shake it. Make sure you shake your milk. Wow, a giant plot. <laughs> okay, that's good. I only added. Little bit. See the milk and cheese. I haven't mixed it. Cool. Then I add little, little. Like I mean, when I say little, I mean little. I'm gonna use this as a little measuring thing. Okay. I only put just a little bit. Oh, now I have to, that's my mom's background. I think I'm just gonna add it more. Then, you take the mixer. You have to put it in before you start it. Because if you put if you start it and then put it in, it's gonna splash everywhere. Press the start button. Put it on one. And then you just mix it until it's not thick anymore. It gets to your, your kind of texture that you want it to get. I'm talking loud because it's, it's really loud. Now let's see the texture. It looks beautiful.
take a spoon and you mix. You look at it, I would taste it, and then use it in my mouth. Taste it. I'm probably gonna have to put my hand in there. Time to make more. So I kind of cheese a little bit. Probably doesn't look like a little bit cheese, yet, but it is a little bit. More milk, because you have to make sure it's the right exact balance. Perfect. It was dripping. It is dripping. It was dripping. Now I'm gonna wash it off. With the rag. Wash the floor. Perfect. Okay, I'm great now. This is a hard stain. Not from the milk. It's just a hard stain. Okay. More condensed. I mean, why do I keep saying condensed? Bugging me. I mean, powdered sugar. You add the same amount you added before. Baby, you know. After I'm done watching this, I'm gonna go back to Liv and Maddie. What else do you expect from me? I'll show you guys the finished product. I might as well. I might, I'm gonna show it in this video. Restart it. This is what it looks like. Perfect. Okay. Now, and start number one. Aroma scent in here is so good. I wish you guys could smell it. I can try. That's the most I can do. Unhanded! Which is not that cool of a trick because most people can probably do it. Okay, turn you down. Turn you down. Let's see. Let's see if this is too liquidy or not. It's either too liquidy or not liquidy enough. Yeah, this is, this is, this is too liquidy. Add a little more cream cheese. You need to be to like this much. This time when I say little, I mean little. Little, little, little. And then... Add some more powdered sugar. That is why. That's why I put it in here because I didn't want it to be too much. To be too sweet. Let me add a little bit. So I'm gonna have to check. 
take the cinnamon bun? gonna do that. I'm gonna show you. Look like this. And it looks good. I'm going to get my mother to help me. I'm gonna look at them. <gasps> They're writing. Yay! But you all, I also want to try the thing to make sure it's not too sweet. I can't make it too liquidy or too thick. So I made it like in between. That looks about, yeah, because I don't want the, the bottom to be too brown. Like last time. Last time it got a little brown, brown. You just gotta let them sit, taste it. That's good. Okay. That's great. Putting them in the washer. I'm gonna throw that away. I to you see that. And I'll just plug that. I'm gonna show you what they look like in a minute. Just give me a sec. Gotta put my stuff away. Okay. Close the lid. Then put it in a fridge. You don't have to, but it's like milk. So well you have to. But if you want if you don't want it cold, you can take it out when you're ready. It's gonna be good. I'm not gonna do this part. That. Put it with a milk. Okay. Put in some this powdered confectioner sugar and this. Also, in my last video, I tried cooking and cream packets. I'm gonna show you how they look. Actually, I'm just gonna, since I don't want to burn my fingers. I'm gonna do this. These look amazing. Make sure when you bake them, you put them this this close. You can't put them far. You gotta put them close. 
the videos like the Spurs. Spurs are gonna go big, like not like you expect. Then get a bag. Then you take this and clean. Okay. Perfect. Bye. See you guys in the next video.